مرحبا and اهلا وسهلا in our new video if this is your first time watching us please don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell button so you can be notified with every new video we upload if you like what you see please press like and share the video so it can reach to the to as many people as possible so we are in fall and this is the season of pumpkins and squash these are one of the most or the healthiest uh, fruits or produce or vegetables whatever you want to like them it has they have lots of antioxidants nutrition and uh, tons of other uh, healthy benefits it's also mentioned in the holy quran the muslims um holy book in the story of prophet jonah who was swallowed by the whale and in the quran it mentioned that after uh you know the whale spit it out or you know jonah came out of the belly of the whale uh, allah or god has planted um, a pumpkin plant so jonah can use it to heal from all the like the aftermath of being in the stomach of the whale for uh, so long so it is extremely healthy and nutritious and also delicious so in this month we're gonna try to make um, different pumpkin and squash recipes that have a Middle Eastern influence or Middle Eastern um, origin so you can try it uh, some of them are savory some of them are sweet but I guarantee that all of them are really delicious. Today we're gonna make uh, something that is mostly eaten in Egypt. It's a sweet dish called Saniyat al Ar al Asali or sweet pumpkin casserole. It's made of the um, pumpkin uh, cooked in uh, sugar and then uh, covered with uh, sweet bechamel sauce and then bake to get that beautiful golden uh, color we're gonna start first by cutting the pumpkin and then getting the bulb or the inside of the pumpkin out so i'm working on cutting the pumpkin uh please note that this is a small edible pumpkin called pie pumpkin make sure that when you go and buy, buy fresh pumpkin that it's edible don't buy the big ones that are used for carving like for jack-o-lantern for halloween decorations whatever uh double check if you don't know how to do the difference ask uh the seller in the store to help you out make sure that you are buying edible pumpkin so here i had cut the pumpkin in half i removed the, the seeds and the pulp of one half and I'm gonna remove the pulp of the other half and as you know it is really hard to cut the pumpkins so to soften it up a little bit I'm gonna put it in a pan for like uh, 20 to 30 minutes in the in the oven like in a preheated hot oven just to soften it up i don't want to cook it all the way because i need it to uh, later cook in the sugar so i just want to soften it a little bit so i'll be able to um, cut it uh, easier so i'm gonna put it here the cut side down i'm gonna put both of these in here and then put it in a preheated oven for like a 15 to 20 minutes just when you feel it's getting softer a little bit so you can cut it and uh, remove all the, the pulp so you can uh, proceed to the next step so after 15 uh, minutes in the oven I took the pumpkins out uh, I as I said before I don't want them to be uh, cooking like all through I just want it to be easier to cut I've already um, cut most of it but I kept the last half for you to show you uh, how 
easy it became after it just spent like those 15 uh, minutes in the oven so I'm using this serrated knife to cut it in half so now at least it's getting through much faster and then I'm just getting rid of this uh, hard uh, piece you see how easy it became to cut it and even the um, the hair or these noodles whatever you want to do you want to call them they're easier to remove and then I'm gonna cut it ha in half again and now I'm gonna get a sharp knife and put it through between the actual uh, shell or the any the outer side of the pumpkin the hard side and the pulp as you can see see how easy it is it's like you're um, peeling or cutting a cantaloupe or a, a, a watermelon see and there's nothing in here see how thin it is and I'm just remove the extra one here and just cut it into pieces that's all what I need those 15 minutes in the oven made my life uh, really easy as you can see now I have all the pumpkins cut and uh, ready I'm gonna weigh this and according to the weight i'm gonna add the sugar i need for every one kilogram of uh, cut pumpkin like or two pounds and maybe like three ounces of pumpkin i need one cup of sugar so i'm gonna weigh this and uh see how much sugar i i need and then i'll get back to you so I weighed my pumpkin and I made sure that here I only have one kilogram because that's all what I need for the recipe today. The rest I'm gonna put in a ziploc and freeze for later use. And as you can see, I have a cut. This again, I have one kilogram or two pounds and a little like a couple of ounces of uh, cut pumpkin. And for that, I'm gonna add one cup of sugar. I'm gonna mix it really well and I'm gonna leave it aside for like 30 minutes for the pumpkin to absorb the sugar and release some of the juices inside and then we're gonna put it on the stove to cook so this is after the 30 minutes uh, we let the pumpkin pieces soak in the sugar and as you can see here it released see the juices it released some of their juices so I'm gonna put it on like medium-high heat covered until it boils and releases more of the juices and then we're gonna uncover it and let it uh, to continue co cooking uh, uncovered until it's all thoroughly cooked so here it's gonna cover it and then on the high the heat on medium high and leave it until it boils so as you can see here in like about 10 to 15 minutes it becomes like really soft and it's releasing more of the juices so now i'm gonna put it on a uh, low heat and uncover it until it's fully cooked and it absorbs all the juices back a few minutes later you can see that the pumpkin is really cooked and mushy and nice so we turn the heat off and then it's time to prepare the sweet bechamel sauce so here I have a small pot that has 
two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna wait till the butter melts a little bit. And then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of flour. Gonna mix really well. I don't want my flour burn. So now I'm ready to add my liquid. Here I have two cups of whole milk mixed with half a cup of heavy cream or whipping cream. I'm gonna add and continue whisking. So I keep whisking and mixing. I'm waiting for uh, the bechamel sauce to thicken. But while doing so, I'm gonna add now since it's a sweet bechamel sauce, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of sugar. You can control how much sugar you want to add. Maybe less or more if you like it really sweet. But for me, I think uh, three tablespoons of sugar are perfect so we add the sugar and we're gonna add like just a little bit of vanilla maybe like half a teaspoon a few drops and then continue mixing until the uh, bechamel thickens so now after my pumpkin is cooked and my sauce is ready it's not very thick, you need it to be a little bit loose because it also it's gonna finish cooking in the oven. I'm ready to assemble my sweet pumpkin um, casserole. So for the pumpkin mix, you can skip this, but I love to add it because I think these spices actually bring up the flavors of the fruits and the pumpkins that they're mixed with like in uh, the crumbles and the um, the pies and of course this dish so for this i'm gonna add half a teaspoon of cinnamon again you can skip that and traditionally these are not added but i love the flavor and then add a sprinkle of pumpkin spice just a little bit this is only added flavor and then i'm gonna add half a cup of um coconut unsweetened coconut you can also add other nuts like walnuts or almonds or raisins it's up to you it's all based on your taste and preferences and then i'm gonna mix this really well Make sure, you know, you mix it really well so the cinnamon can, you know, go to all parts of the pumpkin. It already smells really nice in here. And then I have my baking dish. It's a, a 9 by 13 baking dish. I sprayed some oil you can also brush it with oil or butter and then I'm gonna sprinkle some of the uh, breadcrumbs make sure to cover the whole dish And then I'm going to add my pumpkin mix. And for added flavor and richness, and also to get a beautiful color when baking, I'm going to cover this with uh, a layer of ishta, we call it in Arabic ishta, or um, table cream. You can find it 
for example in the US you can find it in small stores in the um, Latino food aisle and then I'm gonna and again I'm gonna sprinkle some of the breadcrumbs on the top I'm gonna put this in a hot oven like on 400 degrees Fahrenheit or like 200 Celsius until it's uh, golden, deep golden and beautiful. 